Did you see movie Maze Runner? We will explore methods to find out Maze exit. Did runners know algorithm to find way out? Today, we're diving into the exciting world of maze solving algorithms. Depth First Search, or DFS, is a fundamental algorithm used to explore nodes and edges of a graph. It uses a stack to keep track of the path, diving deep into each branch before backtracking. Starting from the root node, DFS explores as far as possible along each branch before retracing steps. This method is particularly useful for solving puzzles and navigating mazes, where the goal is to find a path to the solution. Now, let's break down the pros and cons of DFS, using friends as an analogy for memory. It's simple and intuitive. Thomas can explore alone without needing many friends. Thomas doesn't need many friends to remember the path, just enough to recall the way back. If the goal is deep within the maze, Thomas can find it quickly. It doesn't always find the shortest path. Sometimes Thomas might wander too far. In a maze with cycles, Thomas might get stuck in an infinite loop. Friends to remember visited places are needed. If the goal isn't deep, it can take a lot of time. Depth First Search, or DFS, is a fundamental algorithm used to explore nodes and edges of a graph. Let's walk through an example to see how it works in action. We begin at the start point of the maze. From here, DFS explores as far as possible along each branch before backtracking. When we reach a dead end, we backtrack to the most recent decision point. We then choose a new path and continue the process. This exploration and backtracking continue until we find the end point of the maze. And there you have it. The depth first search algorithm successfully navigates the maze by exploring deeply and backtracking when necessary. Next, we have breadth first search or BFS. This algorithm spreads out like waves, exploring all possible paths simultaneously at each step. It's like greeting all your friends at a party before starting a conversation. This time it's not Thomas, but a dog named Tammy Tam. Tammy Tam explores the maze by looking at all possible paths at each step. Every time Tammy Tam moves, all directions are checked simultaneously. It's like saying hello to everyone at a party before diving into conversations. This way Tammy Tam finds the shortest path to escape the maze. That's BFS. Now, let's look at the pros and cons of BFS. BFS always finds the shortest path. Tammy Tam, with many friends, always finds the quickest way out. It avoids infinite loops by keeping track of visited places. By exploring all directions, Tammy Tam quickly evaluates all possibilities. BFS requires a lot of friends to remember all paths. It's more complex to implement since every possible path is checked at each step. As the search area widens, it can take more time. Here's a quick example of BFS in action. Maze, S, E, start, E, use exit, X, E, wall, E's path maze, S, X, 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 E, X, E, Tammy Tam's path, 1, S, 1, right, S, 2, down, 1, 1, 3, right, 2, 4, down, 1, 4, E, exit. The A algorithm is a powerful pathfinding and graph traversal technique used in many applications, from video games to robotics. It combines the strengths of Dijkstra's algorithm and a heuristic approach to efficiently find the shortest path. The key to AIG's efficiency lies in its use of heuristics, which estimate the cost to reach the goal from a given node. By prioritizing nodes with the lowest estimated total cost, A optimizes the search process, making it faster and more effective. This makes A Karmainat, Amifi, a preferred choice for many real-time applications where quick and accurate pathfinding is crucial. The right-hand rule is one of the simplest and most effective methods for solving mazes. By keeping your right hand in constant contact with the wall, you can navigate through the maze without getting lost. This technique ensures that you will eventually find the exit, 
making it a reliable strategy for maze solving. So those are the basic maze solving algorithms. Now let's move on to some of the latest and most advanced algorithms. Deep cue learning is a powerful technique that combines neural networks with reinforcement learning to solve pathfinding problems. By using neural networks, deep cue learning can approximate the optimal path through a maze by learning from past experiences. The agent receives rewards for making correct decisions and penalties for wrong ones, gradually improving its pathfinding abilities. Over time, the agent becomes more efficient, finding the shortest and most effective routes through complex mazes. Dijkstra's algorithm is a fundamental method used to find the shortest path in a graph. It works by systematically exploring all possible paths from the starting node to the destination node. By keeping track of the shortest known distance to each node, Dijkstra's algorithm ensures that the shortest path is found efficiently. The beeman heroin algorithm is a groundbreaking approach to pathfinding, known for its collaborative and dynamic nature. Developed through the combined efforts of multiple experts, this algorithm adapts in real time to changing environments. By continuously updating its pathfinding strategy, the beeman heroin algorithm ensures optimal routes are always found, even in the most unpredictable mazes. So, these are the various algorithms we use to explore mazes. It's like having different friends, each with their unique strengths, to help you navigate through any labyrinth. Isn't it exciting to think about what kind of maze we'll explore next? Thanks for sticking around and learning with me.